Welcome everyone to our presentation that we're going to be showing the home IPV called the IPV Impulsator Percussinator. We are connecting now the Phasotron with the hosing red, clear white, and yellow. Once those are snapped in and flush, we're going to secure that. And then the green cord, we're going to leave that disconnected. It's labeled remote. And then we're going to flip the switch on the back side of the device, turning on in order to begin the percussions. Now our impulsator is in full swing. We have it operating on our test lung at the top right. You're going to notice a new feature on this device called the multimeter. This multimeter is replacing the previous manometer that we've used in the past to show pressures. Uh, we get some added benefits and usage out of it like our MAP or mean airway pressure, the rate of the percussor, and also a timer for length of treatment. Currently we're at about a MAP of 15, uh, we have a percussive rate of about 270, timer was at somewhere around 45, uh, and that's all happening with the arrow at 6 o'clock on our rate or full counterclockwise at uh, 40 psi. We have our percussive rate, I'm going to be adjusting currently at about the 9 o'clock position, You'll see there the top arrow is going to be pointing at three as a reference point. That number is, does not represent, like all IPV devices, does not represent a actual value. Instead, it's more of a numerical uh, placeholder or a reference point in order to ensure that you know where you're starting your treatments. And as you progress through your treatment, I had momentarily put it at the 12 o'clock position with arrow pointing to arrow on the top. And now I've moved it to the three o'clock position with the arrow pointing to the right. So at the top left, you're gonna have a red knob. This is your calibration knob. An arrow is gonna be facing up. You wanna make sure it is facing at the 12 o'clock position so that it is calibrated per the manufacturer's request when it leaves the warehouse. So that's how they send it out. And then you're gonna see the percussion. I'm putting it at the 12 o'clock position as well. We should get an average number of around 200, uh, somewhere between 200 to 220 possibly. Uh, let's see, just about 198. So we're just right there. Map is 16. We have the timer below it with uh, approximately about 420, 425. And as we continue with that, you're going to see I'm going to increase the rate. I took it up to about 250, 236. The three should be at the 12 o'clock position, or you'll use the arrow right at the nine o'clock position. So I tend to personally like to use the arrow as my reference point. Now I'm manipulating it, showing that when there is no uh, obstruction or resistance met by the phasotron, you will not have a number on the electronic dial of the multimeter. As soon as I cover it, what you will notice is that uh, you know, typically if you're going to be at home administering it, you're not going to have a test lung like I was using for the demonstration. So you'd be occluding it completely. By occluding it completely, I had a map of 25. I had a rate of close to 300. That's currently at about uh, 20, uh, just around 25 PSI. I'm going to lower that down to 20 now. We'll see what happens to the rate. We were at about 298. I'm going to go ahead and lower my operating pressure to 20 and then I'm going to use a trick where I cover where the green line would connect. That remote actually stops it like it would the treatment if I had that type of phasotron connected. So I'm back on the test lung right now and you're going to notice that uh, my map's a lot lower. So comparing that when you're fully occluded, you're going to have a much higher map, uh, currently a rate of about 360. And I'm going to take the test lung off and we're going to go ahead and include it again my map's going to increase to about 16. And then when I take my hand off, we're going to lose our numbers because again, there's no resistance, which means that it's not going to pick up any kind of pressure. When I do include it with my hand, the map is reflecting 16. Earlier I included it with my hand and it was 25 with a rate of 298. 
So the variation there by just uh, going down on a few PSI, you are going to have a change in pressure and rate. So we don't necessarily have a ton of control over the pressure when you're using the impulsator, but indirectly you do have some control by manipulating the operating pressure or PSI. So as always, thanks for visiting Lung Lab. Please share, like the page, pass it on to a fellow coworker, an URT, schoolmate, and uh, any questions or comments, please place them below. We'll be seeing you soon.